Painting metallic objects while they're installed or otherwise in use sometimes means disassembling everything and moving it out of the environment for coating off-site, then being reassembled. But there is a way to coat these sort of things while they're still in place, efficiently and with minimal prep and without making a mess of the job site. Let's talk about the process to electrostatic coating system from Moransburg. Hey there, I'm Nick here at Finishing Technologies. Welcome back to the Spray Booth. I'm pleased to introduce you to the Ransberg Process 2, a time-tested electrostatic coating system that we offer here at Fintech. The Process 2, or DUCE as it's sometimes referred to, is a unique electrostatic coating system that is designed to paint metallic substrates that are installed in the field. Common items include school or gym lockers, office equipment, machinery installed in a manufacturing plant, wrought iron or chain link fencing, playground equipment, piping, or anything that cannot be removed and brought to a paint booth. When substrates like these need to be coated or recoated while they're still installed, this means that either extensive prep work is required to prevent more traditional painting methods from getting overspray everywhere, or the item must be removed from the job site so that it can be coated in a spray booth or otherwise off-site. The process too, however, enables painting in the field without requiring extensive prep work or moving anything off-site. Plus, it's incredibly efficient, the most efficient coating method outside of a paintbrush. You can expect an astonishing 95% or greater transfer efficiency in most cases. Compare that to the efficiency of an airless spray around 40% transfer efficient, or HVLP spray between 50 and 60%. Even other electrostatic atomization tools can hover in the 65 to 80% range. This is the complete process to system. Each unit comes on a cart for portability which houses the controls, a unique number two gun with cable and fluid hose, an onboard compressor, a pressure tank, and accessories. This system is fully self-contained and available with the 25 and 35 foot cable hose assemblies as standard. You can upgrade to as much as 100 foot lengths by special order with assembly by authorized shops like us here at Finishing Technologies. Let's talk about how this system is unique to pretty much all other applicators and how it produces results in the environments I've mentioned. First of all, the gun doesn't use air or pressure to atomize the coating. This system instead uses a special spinning bell which is coated with an electrostatically conductive coating that enables the paint to become charged. This keeps the overspray to nearly zero while utilizing the electrostatic effect so that the paint only reaches the substrate you're targeting. As the bell spins, a combination of centrifugal force and the electrostatically charged field disperses the paint across the bell's surface, which is then emitted into the air as an atomized charged cloud with droplets so tiny you may not actually see the cloud of paint. That's because there is no overspray cloud for the most part, the color just seems to start appearing on the surface you're painting. So if the system doesn't use air to atomize the paint, why the air compressor? The air compressor is used to pressurize the ASME rated 2.8 gallon tank, which delivers the fluid to the spray gun through a fluid hose. The tank is equipped with an extra sensitive regulator, which we use to carefully tune the flow of paint. Painting with the number two gun requires 210 volt outlets. One for the air compressor, the other for the electrostatic controls. These are the only two connections required. Also, you must use a paint that is specifically formulated for this purpose. I'll talk more about that in a moment. Here's how the system functions from beginning to end. Make sure that your substrate and your unit are grounded with the true earth ground. If you're coating installed fencing, this often means that the grounding is automatic since it's footed in the dirt. Otherwise, you'll need to ground what you're painting in some sort of way, usually with the ground strap, which is included with this system. Place your paint inside of the included pressure tank, which is large enough to contain a one gallon paint can inside, so you don't necessarily have to pour it out. We also offer tank liners for easy cleaning. The tank is pressurized by air from the included compressor, which causes the paint to move through the hose to the gun. The fluid emerges from the special dispenser that streams it onto the surface of the spinning bell here at the end of the gun. Once the fluid contacts the bell, which again has that special electrically charged coating, the paint is dispersed onto the inside surface and then it is negatively charged at the edge of the bell cup. Now charged, the paint is attracted to any grounded object, your intended substrate. The painter then just keeps moving and a new color appears on the substrate as the gun is moved across the area being coated. It is best if the painter uses circular motions while painting. When the paint exits the bell cup, it leaves a unique circular pattern, so a circular painting motion helps fill in the center. Prep work is typically as simple as doing some minor masking off around the item being coated, as well as ensuring that your surface is clean, and well, that's pretty much it. 
While the process too moves a bit slower than traditional atomization tools, the reduced prep requirements combined with the ability to code in the field are all where the real savings lie here. This enables most jobs like this to be completed much faster and often require one painter to do the work. Expect the standard four inch bell which comes with the system to code at a rate between 10 and 15 square foot per minute. Smaller parts can also be coded using the two and three quarter inch bell at around five to eight square foot per minute. You can also choose the optional six inch bell which does 15 to 20 square foot per minute. Maintenance parts for the process too are fairly simple. Typically the only parts that need to be replaced from time to time are the fluid feed tube which applies the paint to the inside of the bell and the brush which electrifies the bell's coating so that the paint can be electrostatically applied. We stock these parts here at Finishing Technologies. If the special coating on the bell becomes scratched or chipped, that will also need to be replaced, but otherwise that's largely what you need from a maintenance standpoint. It is very important to note that this system requires a special electrostatic paint. These are available from most paint stores that specialize in industrial coatings. There is a line of paint that is manufactured for use with this equipment, which we highly recommend for hassle-free application. You may also use your own paint, though it must be ready to accept this system, which means that it may need to be modified with special thinners so that it has a conductivity of 0.1 to 1 mega ohm with a viscosity of 20 to 60 seconds and a number two Zon cup. Ask us for more details. The Ransberg Process 2 system offers a very versatile, portable, and simple way to save time, labor, and paint. For some painting contractors, this unique equipment offers plenty of business opportunities to save their clients from the more typical time it takes to coat certain equipment, ultimately saving money, hassle, manufacturing downtime, evacuation of personnel, and the loss of equipment use while it's being coated. Have questions about the Ransberg Process 2 system? That's what we're here for. Give us a call and let's talk. Our number's on the screen. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, take care, everyone.